One of the first things they ask you in the ER is to rate your pain on a scale from one to 10. I've been asked this question hundreds of times and I remember once when I couldn't catch my breath and it felt like my chest was on fire. The nurse asked me to rate the pain. Though I couldn't speak, I held up nine fingers. Later, when I started feeling better, the nurse came in and she called me a fighter. You know how I know, she said? You called a 10 a nine. But that wasn't the truth. I didn't call it a nine because I was brave. The reason I called it a nine was because I was saving my 10. And this was it. This was the great and terrible time. Really? You think that we need to do just get off our asses? We should do you that solid because the loss of our colleague and friend is all about your needs, your schedule. You think that we should be sensitive to that? How about you take a minute to think about the person, the talent, the life that we lost? How about you think before you start complaining that Derek Shepard's death has been inconvenient for you? You know, when I would see that stuff on the news, I'd shrug it off because it was just too horrible to think, but I would always think, how do they wake up every day? I mean, I, how do they breathe, honey? But you do wake up. And for just a second, you forget. And then, oh, you remember. Yeah, it's like getting that call again and again every time. You don't get to stop waking up. You have to keep on being a parent even though you don't get to have it to try <laughs> The perfect penny killed my husband. the girl her wife because I was afraid to love her. You can't love someone back to life. You can try. He died. Get it, I can't, 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 what do you have to change inside to survive? Who do you have to become? <laughs>